Right here on the banks of the Ohio River, uh, there was the fundamental struggle for, for freedom. And the Underground Railroad and the conductors on the Underground Railroad represented, um, I think, the best of America's struggle for freedom. When you come through and you visit the various exhibits and you learn about the courage, you learn about the perseverance, you learn about the cooperation, you get inspired to do something. And it doesn't matter whether you're in Cincinnati, or whether you're in Gdansk, or whether you're in Cairo, or whether or not you're on the beaches of Cabo San Lucas, you still have a responsibility to make sure your fellow human beings are free. It's definitely better than sitting around in class. You learn a lot more without getting tired and bored. History books, you can read and read, but actually being there, you learn a lot more. It really makes you think about a lot of things that you just weren't aware of before. If we see what bad things happened in the past, we can make our outcome of the future different. If everyone would just come here and just take like a full tour, I mean, you can't even imagine, I can't even imagine the kind of effect that would have on society. And when you look at the artifacts, you feel that you are right there and this all happened. It makes it more real. It makes me want to think more about, I can see that scene in an article, I never think of it as in that man's losing his freedom based on what's happening to him. The moving artwork concept that you did in the movie, that was very compelling and uh, telling a story without a lot of words. That was a really good idea. The different theaters are just so neat because it gives you a chance to keep things active for the kids. There are black children here today, there are white children here today, and obviously each one will take away something of how they've related to this museum and, and, and what the real meaning of this museum is. I treasure seeing yellow buses out in front because I know they're bringing kids. Yeah, you guys can just kind of walk around. I've heard from so many of them uh, any time that I have any doubt about the importance of what we're doing, I recall the faces and the words of the children. We had two young men come down and I'll never forget them. What they had to say about the impact of the experience. Back then we had ancestors that, that would die to read a book, would die to learn how to write the ABCs. But when you're going through there and you're looking at all the different things that our ancestors had to go through, it make your whole body change. So I would really encourage everyone, no matter what color you are, no matter what race you are, to come here and experience this that we have experienced today. The Freedom Center is a source of inspiration on our continuing journey toward freedom for all. This is more than a center of education, more than a memorial of remembrance or a monument for justice. The Freedom Center is a cornerstone of the American conscience. The future of the Freedom Center really lies in making the right investments. Uh, for example, our education programs, I think, are extremely important. That's where young people come in and interact with our content. Uh, this is where uh, the inspiration takes place that leads to them making a difference in the world today and that's really extremely important to what we do. And if we're also going to be successful in the future, we need to innovate. I'd say our key focus right now is on distance learning. How do we take this message that we have way beyond the walls of the Freedom Center? We have done uh, bridge conferences with students in a variety of classrooms across the United States. And you can see the pain and frustration, the sadness and despair of this woman in the center, in chains, with her head in her hands. We're just on the cusp of what we're going to be able to do through interactive technology. Everything is about innovation. It's all about innovation, whether it's in a business in the Freedom Center. And we're committed to that in the learning process. We're going to be starting a radio program uh, here shortly, which I'm really excited about. Good day. Welcome to Freedom Radio. My vision is, is that if we have a syndicated radio program that talks about freedom, 
nationally and internationally. We're going to start that right here in, in Cincinnati at the Freedom Center. Without innovative and, and changing uh, exhibits uh, to bring people back into the, to the Freedom Center, we're not going to be as successful. Uh, so that's why we're working so diligently with all of our partners uh, to get them to understand why these investments in the future at the Freedom Center are so important. We have a major initiative to become a more uh, significant force in being able to show the reality of contemporary slavery and human rights violations. I mean, slavery is a reality right now in the world today. We've got, what, 50,000 people that are some sort of slave in this country alone. It's important to use the Underground Railroad as not something that just once was, but something that could go on today. There's lots of places that, that need an Underground Railroad. There's lots of struggles throughout the world. It's current day, and it makes a link between what's in American history versus what's going on even today. It's important for people to understand that the struggle for freedom has not ended, but continues today. We never struggled to be free so that we could be divided. We struggled to be free because equality was required for us to be one out of many. That is now the challenge that faces us in an interdependent world. It is the most important thing of all more important than any specific position on climate change or terror or anything else, is whether we are capable of living with the absolute conviction that as wonderful as our differences are, our common humanity matters more. The Freedom Center is about educating people about past struggles of freedom so that they can make uh, intelligent and inspired decisions today that will make this world a better place to live in. People literally walk away fundamentally different uh, and thinking differently uh, about things after having gone through the Freedom Center, and young people particularly uh, are impacted. It changed my whole look on slavery. I mean, it was really horrible that we sold other people as property. I never believed that we could get so off course from what we really should have been doing. That's why my message is that the Freedom Center is really about changing the world and changing lives and changing the way that we view ourselves. What better investment could there be than that?